Climate change and air pollution are two major environmental challenges that are posing a deadly threat to the planet and all the living beings. The increase in carbon dioxide emissions from burning fossil fuels, deforestation, and industrialization has led to a significant rise in global temperatures, causing climate change. This, combined with air pollution, is creating a dangerous cocktail that is impacting the health and well-being of millions of people across the world. With rising levels of air pollution, our cities are becoming increasingly unlivable. The toxic fumes from vehicles, factories, and power plants are putting a strain on our respiratory systems, and causing diseases such as asthma and lung cancer. This is particularly concerning for vulnerable groups such as children, elderly and people with pre-existing medical conditions. Moreover, climate change is making the air pollution problem more severe. As the temperatures rise, it exacerbates the ground-level ozone, which is a potent air pollutant. And the smog that blankets our cities becomes denser, and more difficult to get rid of. We urgently need to address both of these issues to protect our planet and safeguard the health of our communities. It's time for us to take action. We must reduce our greenhouse gas emissions, switch to renewable energy, and adopt sustainable practices in our daily lives. It's also crucial that we advocate for policies that prioritize environmental protection, including clean air and climate action. The cost of inaction is too high, and we owe it to ourselves and future generations to act now. Climate change and air pollution are two interconnected and pressing issues that demand our immediate attention. Both have significant impacts on human health the environment and the economy. Climate change is causing rising temperatures, melting ice caps, sea level rise, and an increase in extreme weather events such as floods, droughts, and heat waves. Scientists have found that Earth's current warming trend is of particular concern because of its implications for human life, biodiversity, and ecosystem services. According to NASA, the Earth's temperature has increased by 1.8 degrees Fahrenheit, 1.0 degrees Celsius, since the 19th century, and the majority of the warming has occurred in the past 35 years. Air pollution, on the other hand, is a major environmental risk to human health and well-being. According to the World Health Organization, WHO, 7 million premature deaths occur each year due to air pollution. The majority of these deaths occur in low- and middle-income countries where air quality standards are often not enforced. Air pollution is caused by a variety of sources including transportation, industry, agriculture, and residential sources, among others. Particulate matter, ozone, nitrogen dioxide, and sulfur dioxide are some of the key pollutants affecting human health. The combination of climate change and air pollution is particularly deadly as it creates a vicious cycle. Climate change exacerbates air pollution by increasing the frequency and intensity of forest fires, transboundary transport of pollutants, and dust storms. Statistics show that wildfires have increased in frequency and intensity over the past decades, and are projected to continue to increase due to climate change. In the western U.S., for example, the length of the fire season has increased by over two months since the 1970s. At the same time, air pollution contributes to climate change by releasing significant amounts of greenhouse gases, GHGs, such as carbon dioxide, CO2, methane, CH4, and black carbon into the atmosphere. Statistics show that transportation is a major source of GHG emissions, accounting for around one quarter of the world's GHG emissions. In response, many governments are taking action to reduce emissions from transportation through the promotion of electric vehicles, the expansion of public transport, and the implementation of emissions standards. The impact of climate change and air pollution is felt most acutely in vulnerable communities such as children, elderly people, and those with pre-existing health conditions. Studies show that air pollution is linked to a range of illnesses including respiratory diseases, cardiovascular diseases, and lung cancer. Climate change is also affecting food security, access to clean water, and infectious disease transmission. The poor, marginalized and indigenous populations are the ones that will face the most significant consequences due to climate change and air pollution. In conclusion, there is a pressing need for immediate action to tackle climate change and air pollution. Governments, industries, and individuals have a shared responsibility to reduce emissions, promote sustainable practices, and ensure the well-being of our planet and its inhabitants. As Mahatma Gandhi once said, Earth provides enough to satisfy every man's needs, but not every man's greed. In conclusion, climate change and air pollution is an alarming issue that must be urgently addressed before more lives are lost.
It is imperative that everyone takes responsibility for their actions and makes a conscious effort to reduce their carbon footprint. Climate change and coral reefs a fragile ecosystem is an eye-opening video that delves into the impact of climate change on the delicate balance of coral reef ecosystems. The trailer paints a picture of the alarming changes happening underwater with breathtaking footage. We see the vibrant colors of coral reefs contrasted by their now bleached white surfaces, stripped of life and beauty. Coral reefs are under attack by global warming rising sea temperatures, and human activities like fishing and pollution. The trailer highlights the importance of coral reefs as a vital ecosystem that supports millions of marine life, protects shorelines from storms, and is an essential source of food and livelihood for coastal communities. We are shown alarming statistics of the decline in coral reefs, and how this poses a significant threat to our planet. The climate crisis is now at a turning point, and this video seeks to raise awareness about its impact on coral reefs and how we can all play a role in their preservation. In conclusion, climate change in coral reefs a fragile ecosystem is a must-see visual masterpiece that will leave you inspired to take action. The trailer appeals to every individual to act responsibly towards our planet and the future of our coral reefs. Climate change is among the primary issues of our time, and it is having an adverse effect on numerous ecosystems throughout the world. One of the most affected systems is coral reefs. These magnificent structures are a diverse and vibrant world of their own, home to millions of species. In fact, according to the World Wildlife Fund, coral reefs are home to more than 25 of all marine species. They are not only beautiful but also essential to the well-being of our planet. Coral reefs offer us a multitude of advantages, including coastal protection, food security, and ecotourism. However, according to studies, approximately 50 of the coral reefs have already disappeared in the last three decades, and it is expected to be up to 90 by 2030. Climate change is the main culprit behind this alarming statistic. It is causing warming oceans, which results in coral reefs losing their ability to survive. The rising temperatures lead to coral bleaching, which is a process in which the coral expels the colorful algae covering them. Without the algae, the coral becomes stressed and eventually dies. In the past three decades, coral bleaching has significantly increased, and it has caused the disappearance of numerous coral reefs. According to NOAA Coral Program, between 2014 and 2017, the longest and most widespread global coral bleaching event in recorded history impacted every major coral region in the world causing widespread coral mortality and ecosystem change. The increase in ocean temperature is not the only issue caused by climate change. The increase in carbon dioxide levels in the atmosphere is leading to more acidic oceans. The acidic water leads to the difficulty for the corals to maintain the structural integrity of its skeleton and the ability to access the nutrients. Overfishing is another threat to coral reefs. Fishing is a primary source of livelihood for more than 100 million people worldwide, and it is one of the significant reasons behind the rapid decline in the number of corals. Overfishing not only damages the coral directly, but it also changes the dynamics of the ecosystem, causing numerous issues for the coral reefs. Furthermore, poor land use and pollution contribute to the deterioration of coral reefs. Runoff containing agricultural fertilizers and pesticides causes disease in corals, which can result in death or decreased growth rates. Fortunately, the world is starting to take notice. To counter the effects of climate change, countries and organizations worldwide are investing in different marine conservation initiatives. Some initiatives focus on reducing carbon emissions, which helps to limit the ocean warming and acidification level, while others work on reducing the direct threat of overfishing and pollution. Education and awareness campaigns are also essential, so people understand the critical role coral reefs have in our ecosystem and the urgent need to protect them. Furthermore, organizations worldwide are working to introduce new and more resilient strains of coral reefs that can survive in changed conditions. In conclusion, coral reefs are an essential component of our ecosystem. They offer significant advantages to our planet, including biodiversity, coastal protection, and economic benefits. However, 
Coral reefs are under threat due to the adverse effects of climate change. Governments, organizations, and individuals must acknowledge this issue and take the necessary steps to protect these delicate ecosystems. Coral reefs are deteriorating at an alarming rate and if this continues, it will have severe consequences not only for the marine world but for humanity as a whole. By educating ourselves, raising awareness, and taking action, we can save these fragile ecosystems from disappearing. In conclusion, climate change is an ongoing issue that is affecting our planet in more ways than we can imagine. The coral reefs, although they may seem like mere structures underwater, play a vital role in the balance of our ecosystem. By contributing towards regulating the temperature and providing habitats for a diverse range of marine creatures, they are an essential part of our planet's ecosystem. The effects of climate change have resulted in severe damage to coral reefs around the world, causing bleaching, death, and deterioration. We must take action to ensure the preservation of these fragile ecosystems. It is essential that we work towards reducing our carbon footprint and taking measures to protect the coral reefs. Scientists, researchers, organizations, and individuals must work together to raise awareness and take actions to prevent further damage to these fragile Climate change is perhaps the most pressing issue of our time, but it's not just about melting ice caps and rising sea levels. Women, in particular, are disproportionately affected by this global crisis. In fact, gender inequality and climate change are deeply intertwined. As the earth warms, it is women who bear the brunt of the impact, from increased violence and displacement to reduced access to resources like water and food. Women are also often the primary caregivers for families which means they must shoulder the burden of adapting to and mitigating the effects of climate change. But the story doesn't end there. Women are also powerful leaders in the fight against climate change. From scientists to activists to policy makers, women are at the forefront of the movement to create a better, more sustainable world. By empowering women and lifting up their voices, we can create a more just and resilient society. This video will explore the many ways that gender equality and climate change intersect and highlight the inspiring stories of women who are leading the fight for a better future. Join us on this journey as we explore how we can work towards a more just and sustainable world for all. Climate change and gender inequality are two pressing issues that affect the world today. According to the United Nations, women and girls are disproportionately affected by the impacts of climate change, particularly in developing countries. In fact, women make up a majority of the world's poor and are more likely to be affected by natural disasters caused by climate change. The statistics are alarming, with 80 of people displaced by climate change being women, and 90 of farmers affected by climate change in Africa being women. Furthermore, climate change exacerbates existing gender inequalities by limiting women's access to education, health care, and economic opportunities. Women are also more likely to be excluded from decision-making processes related to climate change. This disparity is evident in the energy sector where women are underrepresented and face greater challenges in accessing and managing energy resources. Women are also more likely to suffer from the health consequences of indoor air pollution due to their traditional gender roles as the primary caretaker of the household. The WHO estimates that 4. 3 million people die each year from exposure to indoor air pollution, with women and children being the most vulnerable. Furthermore, women face greater barriers to accessing clean water and sanitation facilities making them more vulnerable to waterborne diseases. The effects of climate change on women are intertwined with broader issues of gender inequality. Women's empowerment is critical to achieving sustainable development and reducing emissions. Research has shown that when women are given equal opportunities in education, employment, and decision-making, they are more likely to adopt sustainable practices, such as renewable energy, and to invest in the well-being of their families and communities. In fact, Studies show that if women had equal access to resources and decision-making positions, they could reduce global greenhouse gas emissions by up to 30. Addressing climate change requires a gender-responsive approach that takes into account the unique experiences and perspectives of women and girls. This includes providing women with access to information, resources, and technologies that can help them adapt to the impacts of climate change and mitigate their carbon footprint. Furthermore, Women must be included in decision-making processes related to climate change at all levels, from local to global. Gender equality and climate action are mutually reinforcing, and progress on one front can contribute to progress on the other. Women's participation and leadership in climate action can help to build more resilient and sustainable communities, promote social justice and equity, and contribute to global efforts to reduce emissions and prevent catastrophic climate change. Therefore, it is essential that we take urgent action to address both climate change and gender inequality. In conclusion, 
Climate change and gender inequality are two interrelated issues that require urgent attention. Women and girls are disproportionately affected by climate change, and gender inequality exacerbates the impacts of climate change by limiting women's access to resources and decision-making power. Addressing both issues requires a gender-responsive approach that includes women's participation and leadership in climate action at all levels. By empowering women and girls, we can achieve a more sustainable and equitable world for all. In conclusion, it is clear that climate change and gender inequality are intricately linked. Women and girls suffer disproportionately from the impacts of climate change due to their socioeconomic status and cultural norms. Furthermore, Gendered power dynamics often result in women being excluded from decision-making processes related to climate change mitigation and adaptation. The inclusion of women in these processes is essential in ensuring that their unique perspectives and experiences are taken into account. Every day, the effects of climate change become more and more apparent. From extreme weather events to rising sea levels, our planet is changing, and it's putting our health at risk. In this groundbreaking video, we explore the ways in which climate change impacts human health. We meet scientists, doctors, and activists who are working to understand and combat these threats, and we see firsthand the communities that are already feeling the effects of a changing climate. One of the most striking aspects of climate change is its impact on the food we eat. As temperatures rise and weather patterns shift, crops are failing, and the nutritional value of our food is declining. This means that people in many parts of the world are facing malnutrition and starvation while those in wealthier nations are often consuming food that is less nutrient-dense than it once was. But the effects of climate change on human health go far beyond changes in our food. Rising temperatures and extreme weather events are increasing the spread of diseases like malaria, dengue fever, and Zika virus. Air pollution, which is exacerbated by climate change is responsible for millions of premature deaths every year. And as coastlines erode and sea levels rise, entire communities are being displaced and facing the health risks that come with relocation. In this video, we confront the realities of climate change and explore the ways in which it is putting our health at risk. We also highlight the positive steps that individuals and organizations can take to drive change and protect both our planet and our health. Climate change is becoming a pressing concern for human health worldwide. According to the World Health Organization, over 7 million deaths each year can be attributed to air pollution alone. Furthermore, Rising temperatures encourage the proliferation of disease-carrying insects such as mosquitoes, leading to increased transmission of diseases like malaria, dengue, and Zika. The unpredictability of weather patterns also poses a risk to food security, which in turn threatens the nutritional health of vulnerable populations. Climate change will continue to pose challenges, and the necessity for concrete action has reached a boiling point. It is crucial for governments and individuals to take responsibility and work together towards implementing measures to mitigate the effects of climate change. Through sustainable practices and support for renewable energy, the future of our planet's health and the well-being of its inhabitants can be secured.
Climate change is an urgent global crisis that requires immediate action. The world is already experiencing the devastating effects of global warming, including rising sea levels, extreme weather events, and the loss of biodiversity. In order to mitigate these impacts, a rapid transition to renewable energy sources is essential. This means moving away from fossil fuels such as coal, oil, and gas and embracing wind, solar, and other clean energy alternatives. The good news is that we already have the technology and know how to make this transition. Renewable energy is becoming increasingly affordable and accessible, and countries around the world are setting ambitious targets to increase their reliance on renewable sources. However, there are still many challenges to overcome including political resistance, inadequate infrastructure, and a lack of public awareness about the benefits of renewable energy. This video script will explore the importance of tackling climate change through a renewable energy transition. We look at the science behind global warming, the potential benefits of renewable energy, and the challenges we face in making this transition. We'll also showcase examples of communities and organizations that are already leading the way in promoting renewable energy and offer practical tips for individuals who want to get involved in the transition to a more sustainable future. Climate change is an undeniable fact that has become increasingly evident over the years, with global temperatures rising at an alarming rate. The effects of climate change are already being felt from severe droughts to devastating floods and hurricanes. According to the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change IPCC, carbon dioxide levels in the atmosphere have reached the highest levels in 800,000 years. And if we don't take drastic action soon, we could be facing catastrophic consequences that may be irreversible. However, there is hope. Renewable energy transition is key to mitigating the effects of climate change. By transitioning from fossil fuels to renewable energy sources such as solar, wind, and hydroelectric power, we can reduce carbon emissions and slow down the rate of global warming. Renewable energy sources are already becoming increasingly competitive with fossil fuels with solar and wind power becoming cheaper than coal in many parts of the world. The transition to renewable energy is not only necessary for the environment, but it also makes economic sense. According to a study by the International Renewable Energy Agency, IRENA, renewable energy could create up to 28 million new jobs by 2050 surpassing the job potential of the fossil fuel industry. The same study showed that the renewable energy transition could also save the global economy up to $4.2 2 trillion every year by 2030. But in order to achieve a successful transition to renewable energy, we need to act now. Governments need to implement policies that promote renewable energy and discourage the use of fossil fuels. According to the Global Status Report by REN21, Renewable energy made up 72 of total power expansion in 2019. However, despite this progress, only 26 of global electricity is generated from renewable sources. We also need to invest in research and development to improve the efficiency and affordability of renewable energy sources. According to the National Renewable Energy Laboratory, NREL, the levelized cost of electricity for solar and wind power is already lower than that of fossil fuels in many parts of the world. However, there is still room for improvement, and new technologies such as energy storage systems and grid flexibility solutions could help make renewable energy even more competitive. In conclusion, Climate change is a global crisis that requires urgent action. The transition to renewable energy is crucial for mitigating the effects of global warming and creating a healthier and more sustainable future for all. With the right policies and investments, we can make this transition a reality and create a world powered by clean, renewable energy sources. Let's take action now before it's too late. As we come to the end of this video, we can clearly see the need for a transition to renewable energy in order to combat the damaging effects of climate change. It is no longer a debate whether climate change is a real threat or not, the facts speak for themselves. We have seen how global temperatures are rising, oceans are warming and rising, and weather patterns are becoming more extreme. However, 
The good news is that we have the technology and the resources to make significant changes to address the issue. Renewable energy sources such as solar, wind, and hydro have become more efficient and affordable making it easier for us to power our homes and businesses in an environmentally friendly way. We also need to make changes in our everyday lives such as reducing our carbon footprint through dietary changes and sustainable transportation. It is time for all of us to take responsibility and make changes for a better future. The transition to renewable energy is not only necessary. As the world continues to experience the harmful effects of climate change, the agriculture industry is facing a new set of challenges. From extreme weather conditions to rising sea levels, farmers are struggling to adapt to the changing conditions and keep their businesses afloat. In this documentary, we will explore the impact of climate change on the agriculture industry and how farmers are working to combat these challenges. Through interviews with farmers, scientists, and industry experts, we will gain insight into the ways that climate change is affecting food production. We'll look at how rising temperatures are altering growing seasons and changing the types of crops that can be grown in certain regions. We'll also investigate how droughts, floods, and other extreme weather events are impacting crop yields and livestock production. But it's not all doom and gloom. We'll also highlight innovative solutions that farmers are implementing to mitigate the effects of climate change. From adopting new farming practices to investing in renewable energy, these strategies offer hope for a more sustainable future. This documentary is a must-see for anyone interested in the intersection of climate change and agriculture, and the steps we can take to ensure our food supply and the health of our planet for generations to come. Climate change is a phenomenon that has impacted various sectors all over the world. The agriculture industry, in particular, has been severely affected by the changes in weather patterns that have been observed in recent years. According to the World Bank, global temperature is expected to rise by 1.5 degrees Celsius above pre-industrial levels by 2030 if no action is taken to reduce greenhouse gas emissions. This means that the already existing effects of climate change on agriculture, such as severe weather conditions, soil erosion, and water scarcity, will become even more profound. In fact, a study conducted by the World Health Organization estimates that between 2016 and 2030, climate change will cause an additional 250,000 deaths per year from malnutrition, malaria, diarrhea, and heat stress. These figures demonstrate how high the stakes are when it comes to climate change and agriculture. One of the most significant ways in which climate change impacts agriculture is by affecting crop yields. A study published in the Journal of Agricultural Economics reveals that a 1 degree Celsius increase in temperature can reduce global wheat yields by 6, rice by 3, 2, maize by 7, 4, and soybean by 3, 1. Such declines in crop yield can have far-reaching consequences for food security and livelihoods, especially in developing countries where agriculture is a key economic sector. For example, in sub-Saharan Africa, more than 60 of the population is engaged in agriculture, and up to 40 of the gross domestic product of many African nations comes from agriculture-based activities. This means that any decline in crop yields due to climate change could have significant economic and social impacts. In addition to affecting crop yields, climate change also poses a threat to livestock production. As temperatures rise, livestock experience heat stress, which can lead to reduced growth, lower milk production, and even death. A study conducted by the International Livestock Research Institute estimates that by 2050, over 50 million dairy cows in Asia and Africa could be at risk of heat stress. This is particularly worrisome because milk and meat production from livestock are crucial sources of nutrition in many developing countries. Any decline in livestock production can exacerbate food insecurity and malnutrition. Moreover, climate change also affects the quality of agricultural products. Higher temperatures and more carbon dioxide in the atmosphere can cause changes in the chemical composition of plants, which can affect the nutritional value and taste of crops. For example, a study published in the journal Nature found that rising levels of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere can reduce the protein, iron, and zinc contents of crops such as wheat, rice, and soybeans. 
This means that even if crop yields remain the same, the quality of food produced may be lower, with far-reaching implications for human health and nutrition. In conclusion, it is clear that climate change poses a significant threat to the agriculture industry. With the world's population expected to reach 10 billion by 2050, the need to increase food production has never been more pressing. However, the changing climate and its effects on agriculture have made this goal even more challenging. The agriculture sector must adapt to these changes by adopting new technologies and practices that can make it more resilient to extreme weather conditions improve water and soil management, and reduce greenhouse gas emissions. The consequences of an action are too significant to ignore. It is essential to act now to ensure a sustainable future for agriculture and food security. In conclusion, the impacts of climate change on the agriculture industry are undeniable. The sector faces a multitude of challenges, ranging from water scarcity and soil degradation to pest and disease outbreaks. However, through innovative solutions like sustainable farming practices, crop diversification, and improved use of technology, the agriculture industry can adapt and even thrive in a changing climate. Governments and international organizations must also recognize the importance of this industry and provide support to farmers and agricultural communities. The Arctic's melting ice caps are an unprecedented threat to our planet. Rising temperatures have accelerated the pace of ice loss over the past few decades, leading to dire consequences for both the environment and humans. Our video will explore the impact of climate change on the Arctic region, and the drastic changes it has undergone. We will showcase the melting glaciers and ice shelves, and the impact it has on sea levels causing flooding and displacement of people living in low-lying areas. Our video will also shed light on the ecological impact of melting ice caps. We will highlight the loss of habitat for species such as polar bears and walruses, which depend on the ice for hunting and survival. The disappearance of the ice also affects ocean currents, weather patterns, and the migration of marine mammals. Climate change is a global problem that requires immediate action. Our video aims to educate and raise awareness about the dangers of the melting ice caps in the Arctic, and the need for collective action to combat climate change. We will also highlight sustainable solutions such as reducing carbon emissions and transitioning to renewable energy sources to help mitigate the impact of climate change on our planet. Climate change has undoubtedly been a pressing issue of our time. The Earth's average temperature has risen by approximately 1 degree Celsius since the Industrial Revolution, with most of the warming happening in the last few decades. One of the most visible effects of this temperature increase is the melting of the Arctic ice caps. According to the National Snow and Ice Data Center, NSIDC, Arctic sea ice extent has been declining steadily over the last four decades, at a rate of 13.4 per decade, with the lowest extent recorded in 2012. This decline has been attributed to rising temperatures caused by greenhouse gas emissions from human activities. As the ice caps continue to melt, not only are we losing a critical habitat for Arctic wildlife, but we are also facing the consequences of rising sea levels. The Arctic region contains one-tenth of the Earth's freshwater reserves, which means that as the ice melts, it transfers this freshwater into the ocean which can cause sea levels to rise globally. Scientists predict that if all the Arctic ice were to melt, it would result in a 2.4 meter rise in sea levels, which would have devastating consequences for coastal cities around the world. Furthermore, the melting of the Arctic ice caps also has significant implications for the climate system. The Arctic acts as a refrigerator for the Earth's climate, as the ice reflects sunlight back into space, which helps to cool the planet. However, as the ice melts and the Arctic becomes darker and less reflective, more sunlight is absorbed, which further warms the region, creating a vicious cycle of warming. This warming of the Arctic has already had a range of impacts, including changes in sea ice cover, permafrost thaw, and altered weather patterns. In 2019, the Arctic experienced unprecedented wildfires, which were worsened by hotter and drier conditions. This crisis led to a vicious cycle, with the fires releasing carbon dioxide which in turn contributes to further climate change. In conclusion, 
The melting of the Arctic ice caps is not just an environmental issue but also an economic and social one. If we do not take action to reduce our greenhouse gas emissions, we are risking the loss of an entire ecosystem and further exacerbating the impacts of climate change. We need to act now to prevent further warming and protect the Arctic for future generations. As climate activist Greta Thunberg once said, we must change almost everything in our current societies. The bigger your carbon footprint, the bigger your moral duty. This is not just a problem for the Arctic, this is a problem for the entire planet. In conclusion, the melting of Arctic ice caps is a serious problem that requires immediate action. Climate change and global warming are the primary causes of this phenomenon, and their negative effects will continue to intensify as time progresses. The melting ice caps are causing sea levels to rise, which poses a threat to our coastal cities and towns. Additionally, the melting ice is negatively impacting the natural habitats of various wildlife species, causing disruptions in their life cycle, and ultimately leading to their extinction. Human lives will also be affected as the melting ice disrupts transportation systems and leads to economic losses. Therefore, it is essential that we take action to combat this phenomenon. Climate change is a global phenomenon that affects everyone, but it is the developing countries that face the toughest challenges. Climate change poses a threat to people's lives, the economy, and the environment. In developing countries, vulnerable communities are already feeling the devastating impacts of climate change, including droughts, floods, heat waves, and sea level rise. Markets are disrupted, crops fail, and communities experience displacement, which leads to climate induced migration. Poor air quality, contaminated water, and degraded ecosystems further exacerbate the situation. Despite being least responsible for climate change, developing countries bear the brunt of its impacts. The challenges facing developing countries are enormous. To address climate change, these countries need significant resources and technology. However, fiscal constraints, weak institutional capacity, and a lack of technological transfer impede their ability to take appropriate action. Further, in some countries, Climate change policies compete with other essential areas such as education, healthcare, and infrastructure development. Governments must, therefore, find innovative ways to mobilize funds, transfer technology, and build the capacity to adapt to changing climatic conditions. In conclusion, climate change is a deeply complex and globally shared challenge that affects every region. However, the problems facing developing countries are unique and require urgent attention. Investment in technology transfer capacity building, and access to finance are essential to helping these regions adapt to the changing environment. It is time to acknowledge the critical role of developing countries in shaping the future of our planet and to work together to find sustainable solutions to climate change. Climate change is a pressing issue that has been plaguing the world for quite some time now. According to statistics, since the 19th century, the global temperature has risen by about 1, 1 degree Celsius, 2, 0 degrees Fahrenheit and it is predicted to rise by another 2 degrees Celsius, 3, 6 degrees Fahrenheit, in the coming years. While this increase may not seem like much, it has severe consequences for developing countries. One of the main challenges that developing countries face as a result of climate change is extreme weather events. Droughts, floods, and hurricanes are becoming more common, and they are wreaking havoc on the already fragile economies of these countries. In fact, in the last decade, Extreme weather events have caused over $300 billion in economic losses in developing countries. Another challenge facing developing countries is the impact of climate change on their agricultural sectors. The changing climate is altering rainfall patterns and making it harder for farmers to predict when to plant their crops. This is leading to food shortages and rising prices, which are disproportionately affecting the poorest people in these countries. Furthermore, climate change is also affecting the health of people in developing countries. Rising temperatures and changing weather patterns are leading to an increase in vector-borne diseases like malaria and dengue fever. In fact, it is estimated that climate change will cause an additional 250,000 deaths per year by 2030 due to malnutrition, malaria, and diarrhea alone. In the face of these challenges, developing countries are struggling to adapt to the changing climate. They lack the financial resources and technological expertise to implement the necessary measures to mitigate the effects of climate change. This is why it is crucial for developed countries to assist in the fight against climate change by providing financial and technological aid to those who need it most. In conclusion, 
Climate change is a problem that affects us all, but it is particularly devastating for developing countries. Extreme weather events, agricultural disruptions, and health consequences are just some of the challenges that these countries face. It is our collective responsibility to provide the help and support needed to address these challenges and ensure a sustainable future for all. In conclusion, it is evident that climate change poses significant challenges for developing countries, including increased frequency of natural disasters, displacement of people, and loss of biodiversity. To mitigate the effects of climate change, a global effort is required to reduce carbon emissions and limit global warming to no more than 2 degrees Celsius above pre-industrial levels. Developed countries have a responsibility to help achieve this goal by providing financial and technological assistance to developing countries. The Green Climate Fund, established in 2010, is one example of a mechanism that can facilitate funding for climate change projects in developing countries. Additionally, developing countries should prioritize adaptation measures, such as building resilient infrastructure, conserving ecosystems, and implementing early warning systems for natural disasters. Education and awareness campaigns are also crucial to encouraging individual and collective action towards sustainable practices. Ultimately, it is our collective responsibility to mitigate the impact of climate change and secure a sustainable The trailer for this video script begins with the stunning beauty of small island nations, with breathtaking views of the ocean and the abundance of flora and fauna that these countries are blessed with. But soon, we see the harsh reality of the effects of climate change on these islands. From rapidly rising sea levels to extreme weather events, these small island nations face an existential threat like never before. The video highlights the challenges that these nations face in mitigating the impact of climate change and adapting to the changes that have already taken place. We hear from experts who warn us about the disproportionately high impact that climate change has on small island nations and their economies. With limited resources and infrastructure in place, these nations have very little resilience against the effects of climate change. Lack of access to technology, funding, and political support further exacerbate their vulnerability. Amid this gloomy picture, we also see rays of hope, as small island nations come together to find solutions to combat climate change. We hear from leaders who are making bold decisions to shift towards clean energy and work in collaboration with other nations to reduce their carbon footprint. The trailer ends on a note of encouragement, urging viewers to take action and help these small island nations in their fight against climate change. Climate change is an undeniable global phenomenon that affects us all. But it is the small island nations that are hit the hardest. As sea levels continue to rise and ocean temperatures continue to increase, these low lying countries are facing significant challenges that threaten their very existence. According to the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change, IPCC, sea levels are projected to rise by 0. 3 to 1. 1 meters by the end of this century, a fact that should concern us all. One of the most startling statistics is that 15 of the 17 warmest years on record have occurred since 2000. This is a clear indication that we cannot continue to ignore the devastating effects of climate change. In the Pacific Islands, sea levels are rising at three times the global average, with coastal erosion and flooding becoming increasingly common. By 2100, it's estimated that Tuvalu, a small island nation, will be completely uninhabitable due to rising sea levels. The Maldives, another island nation, is also at risk of being submerged. The loss of these countries would not only result in the displacement of its citizens but would have significant economic and political impacts on the rest of the world. The challenges for small island nations are complex and far-reaching. Agricultural production and fisheries, which are vital to these economies, are being compromised due to changes in weather patterns and ocean acidification. In the Caribbean, coral reefs are dying threatening tourism and marine ecosystems, which are the backbone of the region's economy. In some areas, drought and extreme heat waves are making water resources scarce and by 2030 nearly half of the world's population will be living in areas of high water stress. The reality is, climate change is a pressing global issue that can no longer be ignored, and we must take action to mitigate its effects. In conclusion, small island nations are facing unprecedented challenges as a result of climate change and it is imperative that urgent action is taken to mitigate its effects. These nations are at the forefront of the battle against rising sea levels, intense storms, and other extreme weather events, and they are doing everything they can to adapt to the changing conditions.
In recent years, the world has seen a rapid decline in pollinator populations due to climate change. This decline has had a devastating impact on our environment, as pollinators are responsible for the reproduction of many of the world's plants and crops. As a result, the decline of pollinators has placed a strain on food production, threatening the livelihoods of millions of people around the world. The causes of this decline are complex and multifaceted, but one of the main contributing factors is the changing climate. Rising temperatures, changing weather patterns, and extreme weather events are all affecting the habitats and life cycles of pollinators. In addition, the use of pesticides and other chemicals in agriculture is further exacerbating the problem. But there is hope. Across the globe, scientists, conservationists, and farmers are working to reverse the decline of pollinators through a range of innovative solutions. From planting wildflowers and creating new habitats to developing new technologies and farming practices, there are many ways we can protect and support our pollinators. In this video, we will explore the causes of the decline of pollinators, the impact of this decline on our planet and our food systems, and the solutions that are being developed to address this crisis. Climate change and the decline of pollinators have become two of the most alarming issues that we are facing today. The Earth's temperature is rapidly increasing, with the past decade being the hottest sun record. According to the IPCC's 2018 report, by the end of the century, we could experience an increase in temperature of up to 5 degrees Celsius. This will have a devastating impact on our planet's biodiversity, making it even harder for pollinators such as bees, butterflies, and birds to survive. Pollinators are essential to our ecosystem. Climate change and the deterioration of soil quality is a growing concern that requires immediate attention. The effects of climate change can be seen everywhere, from rising sea levels to more intense weather patterns, and the same is true for soil quality degradation. This phenomenon is particularly concerning as soil is essential for sustaining life on Earth, and it plays a critical role in food production and other vital ecosystem services. The primary drivers of soil quality deterioration are human-related activities such as overuse of pesticides and fertilizers, deforestation, urbanization, and unsustainable land use practices. The effects of these activities are more pronounced in areas that are already vulnerable, such as drylands, sub-Saharan Africa, and Southeast Asia. 
The consequences of soil quality deterioration are far-reaching and can have severe impacts on food security and human health. As soil quality decreases, the ability of crops to absorb essential nutrients reduces and yields decrease. Moreover, degraded soil retains less water leading to an increased likelihood of soil erosion and flash floods. However, all hope is not lost as a concerted effort to mitigate climate change and soil quality deterioration can still yield positive results. The solution lies in promoting sustainable farming practices, reforestation, and conserving wetlands and other vital ecosystems. By doing so, we can protect and promote soil quality and mitigate the impacts of climate change. The time to act is now before it's too late. Climate change and the deterioration of soil quality is a growing concern worldwide. According to the National Science Foundation, 40 of the world's agricultural land is currently degraded, and by 2050, we may lose up to 30 of our productive farmland due to erosion, desertification, and other forms of soil degradation. Furthermore, the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change has predicted that global temperatures may rise by 1.5 degrees Celsius by 2030, which can significantly impact soil carbon storage and nutrient availability, further exacerbating the problem. In addition to this, greenhouse gas emissions from farming practices, such as the excessive use of synthetic fertilizers and pesticides, contribute significantly to climate change and soil degradation. The impact of this phenomenon is far-reaching and can result in food shortages, loss of biodiversity, and increased poverty. The United Nations has reported that almost 800 million people around the world suffer from chronic hunger. As oil quality deteriorates, farmers will struggle to produce enough food to feed the growing population. In some regions, smallholders may be forced to abandon their farmland altogether, leading to even more food insecurity. We must take action to address this issue. Increasing soil organic matter is one way to enhance soil health, providing better water retention, nutrient availability, and carbon sequestration, which can mitigate the effect of climate change. The use of sustainable farming practices, such as cover cropping, crop rotation, and reduced tillage, can help maintain soil health while reducing greenhouse gas emissions. Additionally, Policymakers must prioritize investing in sustainable agriculture and research in this area to identify and implement transformative solutions. In conclusion, the deteriorating soil quality caused by climate change is a growing threat to our food security and overall well-being. Adequate measures must be put in place to mitigate the impact of climate change on soil health and enhance soil resilience to ensure sustainable farming practices that feed future generations. In conclusion, the issue of climate change and soil quality deterioration is a complex and multifaceted problem that requires immediate attention from policymakers, researchers, and stakeholders. The adverse effects of soil degradation extend far beyond the agricultural industry, affecting human health, biodiversity, and ecosystem services. Financing programs, research, and education are needed to encourage practices that promote sustainable land use, such as reduced tillage, crop rotations, and agroforestry. Additionally, the implementation of climate smart agriculture practices, which optimize productivity while minimizing greenhouse gas emissions, can help mitigate the impacts of climate change while maintaining soil health. The Earth's climate is changing, and this is causing a ripple effect on the planet's ecosystems. The disruption of ecosystem services is a major concern, and the consequences of this disruption are far-reaching. In our video, we will explore the relationship between climate change and ecosystem services and highlight the impact that it is having on the planet.
we will examine how changing temperatures and precipitation patterns are affecting plant growth, animal behavior, and migration patterns. We will show how these changes are causing a chain reaction throughout the food web, resulting in a decline or a loss of ecosystem services such as pollination, water purification, and carbon sequestration. Our experts will discuss the potential consequences of this disruption, including decreased biodiversity, reduced food security, and increased vulnerability to natural disasters. We will also highlight the actions that are being taken to mitigate the effects of climate change and protect these valuable ecosystem services. Our video will provide viewers with a comprehensive understanding of this critical issue and inspire them to take action to support the conservation and preservation of our planet's ecosystems. Climate change is one of the most critical issues facing our planet today. The impacts of climate change go well beyond just rising temperatures. Climate change is causing a disruption of ecosystem services at an unprecedented rate. The ecosystems that we depend on for our food, water, clean air, and other resources are being seriously affected by the changing climate. In fact, recent statistics suggest that climate change could result in losses of more than $2 trillion in global food supplies, a devastating loss that could impact hundreds of millions of people around the world. One of the first signs of this disruption is the loss of biodiversity. The current rate of extinction is estimated to be 1,000 times higher than the natural rate. This rapid pace of extinction is linked to climate change, as well as habitat loss, pollution, and other human activities. This loss of biodiversity is not just a tragedy in and of itself, but it is also a threat to the ecosystem services that we rely on. For example, pollination is a critical ecosystem service that helps to ensure agricultural productivity. However, with the loss of pollinators due to climate change and other factors, food production is being seriously threatened. Another critical way climate change is disrupting ecosystem services is by increasing the frequency and severity of natural disasters. Droughts, floods, wildfires, and other extreme weather events are becoming more frequent and more intense, causing massive damage to both natural and human systems. Recent statistics show that in the past 20 years, the number of natural disasters worldwide has increased by more than 70 and the economic losses have more than doubled. As these disasters become more common, they are further destabilizing ecosystems and making it harder and harder for us to rely on them for our basic needs. Finally, climate change is also causing changes in the timing and distribution of key ecosystem services. For example, changes in precipitation patterns are affecting the timing of the growing season for crops. This means that farmers are having to adapt to new planting and harvesting schedules, a difficult task that can have significant impacts on yields. Similarly, changes in the timing of the annual migration of birds can impact pollination and seed dispersal, leading to further disruptions in ecosystems. Climate change is one of the greatest challenges that we face today. It is disrupting the ecosystems that sustain us and putting our food, water, and other resources at risk. We must act quickly and effectively to slow down and eventually reverse the impacts of climate change. We can start by reducing our own carbon footprint, advocating for climate policy, and supporting efforts to adapt to the changes that we are already experiencing. The future of our planet and the ecosystems that we depend on are in our hands, let's act now before it's too late. In conclusion, it is evident that climate change is having a significant impact on the world we live in. One of the critical consequences of climate change is the disruption of ecosystem services, which are essential for human survival and well-being. As humans, we rely heavily on water. We drink it, 
bathe in it, irrigate our crops with it, and use it for industrial purposes. But as climate change continues to wreak havoc on our planet, the availability and quality of clean water is becoming increasingly uncertain. Rising temperatures, more frequent droughts, and extreme weather events are threatening our water supply, making it more difficult to sustain our growing population. However, there is hope on the horizon. Scientists and innovators from around the world are coming together to find solutions to address this issue. From new technologies that provide more efficient ways to treat wastewater, to sustainable agriculture practices that conserve water and protect soil health, there are options available to help ensure that we have access to clean water now and in the future. But this problem won't be solved with just technology or individual actions. Governments and organizations must come together to enact policies and take action to address the root causes of climate change and protect our water resources. It's up to all of us to work together to ensure a sustainable future for clean water. Because without it, our world as we know it cannot survive. Climate change is without a doubt one of the greatest challenges facing our planet today. The global temperature has increased by nearly 1 degree Celsius since the pre-industrial era, and this seemingly small change has had profound effects on the Earth's water supply. In the next few decades, climate change is expected to disrupt the water cycle in ways we've never seen before. According to statistics from the United Nations, by 2025, half of the world's population could be living in water-stressed areas. By 2050, the number of people without reliable access to clean water could increase by a staggering 136. It's clear that climate change is not just an environmental issue, but a humanitarian one as well. One of the most significant impacts of climate change on water is the melting of glaciers and snowpacks which serve as a primary source of fresh water for many communities worldwide. In fact, nearly a third of the world's population relies on these melting snows and glaciers for their water supply. But with rising temperatures, these natural reservoirs are melting at an alarming rate, leaving communities without reliable access to clean water. Another effect of climate change is the increase in extreme weather events such as floods and droughts. In the last two decades, Floods have become the most common natural disaster globally, affecting 2.3 billion people and resulting in approximately 157,000 deaths. At the same time, droughts are becoming more frequent and severe, with nearly one-third of the world's population living in areas affected by these water shortages. But there is hope. The future of clean water and a sustainable water supply lies in our ability to adapt and mitigate the effects of climate change. By implementing climate smart water management practices, such as rainwater harvesting, improved irrigation techniques, and the use of water efficient technologies, we can conserve precious fresh water resources and reduce our reliance on vulnerable sources of water. In addition to these practical solutions, there are also global policies in place to address climate change and promote sustainable water management. The 2030 Agenda for Sustainable Development adopted by the UN General Assembly in 2015, aims to ensure availability and sustainable management of water for all. This includes ensuring access to safe and affordable drinking water, improving water quality, and increasing water use efficiency across all sectors. In conclusion, climate change and the future of clean water are undeniably intertwined. Without effective action to mitigate and adapt to the impacts of climate change, Millions of people will suffer from water scarcity, poor water quality, and the devastating effects of extreme weather events. But by implementing sustainable water management practices and supporting global policies aimed at promoting climate action and equitable access to water resources, we can ensure a healthier and more sustainable future for us all. In conclusion, the future of clean water is directly tied to our planet's fight against climate change. We cannot ignore the fact that climate change is leading to unpredictable weather patterns, droughts, and natural disasters that all impact our water sources.